Six days after the massive storm hit, officials in Tacloban are urgently seeking more aid. The huge typhoon reduced the capital of the hardest hit Leyte province to rubble. We have no food, no water, no lights, no fuel, no all, all, all. Thousands of people swarm the airport desperate to leave. Emergency workers continue the daunting task of recovering remains as the first mass burial takes place. Dozens of families who lost their homes to the high winds and massive tidal surges are struggling for a sense of normality inside Tacloban's convention center. Much of the desperately needed aid is stranded in Manila and the nearby airport of Cebu because of extensive damage to the Tacloban airport, leaving many Filipinos feeling abandoned. We have no food to eat now, so I am appealing to the, to the whole world to give us assistance. What we really need is food, uh, safe drinking water, and then uh, uh, materials for us to build our houses. We are thinking on what, how to start again our lives. Although slow, the Filipino government says planes, ships and trucks are on their way. And the global community is also rallying to get aid to the needy. It's a heartbreaking reminder of how fragile life is. The United Nations estimates about 11.5 million people have been affected by Typhoon Haiyan. Thousands were killed and almost 600,000 people displaced by last Friday's powerful storm. Tracy Brown, Associated Press, 